Hi everyone, it's Jonathan from Ars Technica. We're still here at CES and today we are speaking to Nuance about voice recognition in cars. Uh, and we have Brian, one of their engineers, to show us how it all works. This is a hybrid system. So for some of the voice recognition commands, uh, it will go to an offboard server. Mm -hmm. And for other ones, it'll uh, remain local and process it here locally on the head unit. Right. I can uh, push the speak button here. Drive to a Starbucks on Tropicana Avenue. Starbucks coffee, West Tropicana Avenue 4985. You know, in the past, I would have to just say something like, uh, take me to Starbucks and I'd get a list of 40 Starbucks. And if I'm not familiar with the area, you know, who knows right. where it is. So that's, that's a unique feature that I haven't seen uh, anywhere else. Uh, very useful, in, at least in the US. I can say something like, drive to I-15 South. I-15 South. Las Vegas, say yes or select another. Again, that's unique uh, from a POI perspective. All the POIs are, are going to the offboard servers. First implementation of, of that technology in car as well. I can say something like um, drive to the Marriott in Lincolnshire, Illinois. Marriott Spring Hill Suites, Lincolnshire, Marriott Drive 300. In the past, you would have to say just the entire POI name exactly right. So we've added some flexibility right. in what can uh, actually be found using the spoken word. Uh, you can see we have basically points of interest for all of the U.S. Mm -hmm. available at any time. Are those, are those nuanced servers or? They are nuanced okay. servers. So just high level architecture. Uh, voice goes from the vehicle through an embedded modem mm -hmm. in the vehicle up to uh, BMW Gateway. BMW then uh, ships it over to Nuance. It, it comes back through BMW back to the car. So that's the round trip and that's the little bit of latency that you're seeing. Right. But it's okay. still pretty quick. Yep. Even in uh, Las Vegas with all of the network traffic. <laughs> Voice activated dialing sometimes it doesn't sound uh, so uh, interesting maybe, but that's the number one use case of uh, voice in vehicles right. today. I want to call Stephanie Radloff on her mobile. Calling Stephanie Radloff on cell phone. I better end that call quick. <laughs> call Stephanie. Stephanie Kendall. Yes. Stephanie Radloff. Stephanie Radloff has three telephone numbers, mobile or home. Mobile. Calling Stephanie Radloff on cell phone. And again, unique here is I can pick her by name. Uh, as opposed to in the past when we had these type of pick lists, I'd have one, two, three, four, and I have to say line one or line two, right? So barge in allows us to talk over the prompt, so I don't need to wait for the entire prompt. That again is a first uh, production implementation by BMW. Call Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie Kendall. Radloff. Stephanie Radloff has three. Cancel. Cancel. So I can say something like, um, I want to dictate a text message. Would you like to dictate the text or select a recipient? Select a recipient. Please say a name. Rayco. Rajko Bielsa. Mobile. Would you like to dictate the text or send Dictate the, the text. Please dictate the text. We're doing an interview with uh, ARS Technica. We are doing an interview with Ars Technica. Would you like to send the message? Hey, and even pronounced ours right. Send the message. Message has been sent. Oh, right, it added a K, but uh, um, you know, very easy to do from the car. That's actually using some different nuanced technology in the cloud which is a dictation engine, which is a bit different than what we're using for the points of interest. Okay. We're taking uh, samples of speech from all over the country, different regions. Um, since we call this a, a North American Spanish model, mm -hmm. we take a lot of um, uh, accented speech from Mexico, but Cuba, Puerto Rico, and actually most of Central America. Lupe Tortilla in Houston, Texas. 
Lupe Tortilla, Houston, Tom. Oh, you might have noticed I have a bit of an accent. Yes. Um, and I also talk rather quickly. Um, so I'm just curious to see whether, whether it'll, it'll cope with my, my weird English speech. <clears throat> Drive me to the nearest in and out In and out smog to yeah, Cancel No, it's not the burger place, we'll try that again Dri Drive me to in and out Burger in and out Burger, Las Vegas Cancel It's not too bad Yeah, it seems to actually kind of understands me better than Siri It is just on the 7 Series now um, The intent, as we understand it from BMW Of course, they control all of their roadmaps right. uh, in, in product plans But our, their intent is to roll it to the 5 and 3 Series Oops. Uh, in subsequent model years.